hydroponic it's a high take of the horticulture sectors now we are in uh, one of the multi span that we uh, work uh, on it through eco council uh, the greenhouse is equipped with different sensors like inside and outside the greenhouse to control the humidity and temperature inside the greenhouse Everybody of us is aware about the global warming and the change in the climate uh, worldwide. So we, by existing this technology, we have the possibility to, uh, to control the climate inside the greenhouse, uh, to give the right uh, conditions for the plant to survive and to produce a very good quality. Uh, we had been uh, affected very badly because of the political situation in Iraq and Syria. We need to improve our competition with the export markets. We call it a cluster district. So hydroponic is a, a, a full uh, circulation of water into the system. So there is very limited discharge that comes out of hydroponics. There is a lower uh, water footprint and it's environmentally friendly uh, farming uh, solution. It's the solution for the future. Or the fertilizer spice that we use to make the nutrient solution uh, recipe. Each crop has a specific EC and pH values. That's why here through the system we choose the EC and the pH. Jordan uh, probably uh, will go on the same steps that other countries they took when it comes to farming. If you think of Spain, if you think of the Netherlands, they were able to convert a majority of their uh, greenhouses into hydroponic farms. If, if we continue with the same approach of traditional farming, definitely we'll lose jobs because there's no water to keep the same jobs that we have. Uh, moving into the future, I think you know uh, there is uh, a new categories of jobs that we can look at. Uh, there's uh, the jobs, you know, for smart agriculture, for uh, technology companies, uh, for uh, engineers who are going to work in protected agriculture. So these are the kinds of jobs we're looking for. <laughs>